happens. Of course, for now, back to you. All right, Jimmy, thank you for that. Now we move on to uh, President William Bruto last week announced a reduction in the prices of fertilizer from 3,500 to 2,500 under the subsidy program. Now, while announcing the move, the president urged farmers to capitalize on the subsidies during the short rains planting season in a move geared towards increasing food production and lowering the high cost of living. Now, Jeff Kirui with the latest attempt by the government to boost food security. The high food prices in Kenya have continued to put households under immense pressure. While acknowledging the high cost of living, the government has moved to subsidize fertilizer for the short rains planting season in what President William Ruto says will increase production. We shall begin to immediately bring down the price of fertilizer from 3,500 to 2,500 per 50 kilogram bag beginning yesterday. At this price, we expect significantly higher uptake of fertilizer. Since fertilizer is the game changer of our agricultural productivity, this should translate to higher production in the next planting season. The government, according to President Ruto, will ensure that farmers continue to be registered and issued with an e-voucher in order to benefit from the fertilizer subsidy program, a move aimed at eliminating intermediaries. By cutting out brokers, middlemen, and other intermediaries, we have eradicated corruption and inefficiency from the program in order to concentrate maximum benefits on the farmer. The crops uh, targeted by the e-voucher subsidized fertilizer program are maize, coffee, sugarcane, potatoes, rice, tea, cotton, edible oils, and tomatoes. In the program, the national government will be collaborating with the county government to provide distribution centers. My suggestion would be the county governments provide the space and the stores. And as a national government, we will work with them in making sure that there is personnel which can be shared between the county and the national government to make sure those stores run efficiently and serve the farmers as best as we all want. The two levels of government, according to Ruta, will further work together after harvesting to provide farmers with post-harvesting facilities and services. We are proposing that this year, government of Kenya is going to meet half the bill for drying. Again, this is our strategy to make sure that we eliminate post-harvest losses. While assuming office, President William Ruto took a paradigm shift from his successor by scrapping off subsidies on consumption, instead committing them on the factors of production. Jeff, Kirui, KTA News. All right, that story from Jeff Kirui now is going to uh, lead us into 